Hello everyone and welcome to Crown Trick, given to me by Team 17. Now, I've been curious about this game for quite a while, so let's get started. Up. Wake up, for you are chosen. For the dawn will not grace with her presence those who refuse to open their eyes. Who's there? It was fate that led you to this realm. Now come forward, Ellie. How did you know my name? At least you are cautious. Hopefully the ignorant will become tolerable all the time. We are currently in the realm of nightmares. Here I am what humans would consider omniscient. I know everything about you, Ellie. Your name, your past, and even the purpose of your little trip to this realm. Nightmares have brought forth disasters and chaos. As creatures on earth suffer in endless agony, the world itself is on the brink of destruction. As the chosen hero, you are the one they dumped all the responsibilities on. You are the one destined to venture into the unknown and save the whole world. How do you know all this? Are you in charge of this nightmare realm? Are you the one causing pain and suffering for people? Ever so eager to arrive at erroneous conclusions. How typical of your kind. You are in the presence of the observer and guardian of the nightmare realm. I possess no true name, but you may refer to me as the crown. Sorry if I was quick to judge, but it seems I have important work ahead of me. If you really are what you claim, you must have an idea of the culprit behind all of this. Indeed. The nightmares are caused by none other than one of your own. Someone whose heart is filled with greed. A human by the name of Vlad. Do you know where he is right now? Patience, girl. Impulsiveness will only lead to failure. It all started with a forbidden sacrificial rite performed by Vlad in the Nightmare Realm. With his seals broken, the power of nightmare runs rampant, causing death and destruction, not only in the nightmare realm, but in your world as well. My powers can no longer contain it, and what I see, you are woefully underprepared as well. Is there nothing we can do? Does it mean the world is beyond saving? I suppose I could use some help. It's not like you're giving me any other choice. How impressive. That's the wisest thing you've said since you've entered this realm. Now put me on, if you don't mind. There's the part I want. It's like a magical girl transformation. Curious. It seems that your body has absorbed every single drop of power provided for you. What? What did you put in me? Such fleeting faith. How fickle the human heart is. Worry not, silly girl. For I have no intentions of doing you any harm. I've simply cast a few spells to further facilitate our journey. You'll understand in due time. If you say so. Let us go forth, for the fate of both realms now rests within your hands. I have to admit, I am really liking it. As I said, it has been a long time since I last played this, so everything's pretty much brand new to me again. I love how she hops. The Nightmare Realm is a different reality, operating on different rules from your world. Here, time is relative. I have a friend of mine who say who says that a lot and it annoys the crap out of me. It will flow only when you move, so take your time. Sometimes waiting for the enemies to approach can be smarter than foolhardy jumps. Foolhardy attacks. This is the most fundamental rule of the nightmare realm. You'll do well to remember it. I've prepared some simple mechanisms ahead. Let's see how well you do. The nightmare realm operates on a turn-based system. Traps and enemies will remain stationary until Ellie makes a move. It's a bit like, um, super hot in a way. Successfully unlocked novice treasure hunter. I was reading that. Ooh, I like me some weapons. 
It doesn't seem like you're strong enough to handle any real weapons yet. Here, let me help you with it for now. Your first objective. Break those crates so we can keep moving forward. But now we use it. I also noticed, um, just then. You can do that as well. You don't really need to attack. Slime pup item. Did I just stun it? I think I did. Ow. I took some damage. Remember that you can also change direction in place. Sometimes it's a better option than actual movement. I kind of feel sorry for that doggo. It had no way of, um, of getting to me or defending itself. Doesn't stop me from doing it again and again, though. In actual battle, a valid strategy is to wait in place or do an empty swing to force the flow of time. Enemies will have no choice but to initiate the battle by approaching you. Attack them when they're in range. I just killed. Here's something you might find useful. Breaking enemies will make your attacks against them more effective. You can reduce the breakpoint of enemies by dealing damage to them. When an enemy's breakpoint reaches zero, they will be stunned and receive more damage from hits. Like so. Oops. Not close enough that time. How big is this place? That's what I want to know. Oh, it's an archer. Enemy is more vulnerable when it's charging or being around you. you then you can break them faster. Oh, that was your own fault for trying to attack me, I guess. Ooh, pretty. That cat's over there. This bottle contains water from the fabled healing fountain. A sip from this elixir will do wonders for your vitality. Well, since I fell down the hole. There we go. Those cats. Oh! Did, did I just squish him? I'm sorry, cutie cats. I'll, I'll go now. Weapons of rare or higher rarity are able to hold two random pass effects at once. Okay, unfortunately, even though it's only one floor I've meant to do, I am all out of time for now. Thank you so, so much, Team 17, for allowing me to play Crown Trick. It's been really fun. And guys, if you like the content I am putting out, link to my coffee is in the description below. And I'll see you all in the next video. I really like those cats. Bye for now.